No me va a alcanzar. Hello, how are you? How are you today? Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. De camino. Mm. Oh, ya llegó. Llegando, pero con un montón de lluvia. Ah, really? Yeah. Here I have seen that it's like raining somewhere, but not here. Is the alert red for national level? Uh -huh. In the moment. Hay alerta, roja, hay alerta roja por lluvia ya a nivel nacional. Sí. Ya, amigos. I haven't. Well, here in San Salvador, it's like it's not raining right now. There's little just 60 percent of humidity and it says that tomorrow it will probably rain but it's not like like a lot right but there is an emergency good evening teacher oh, good evening how are you today I'm good, thanks. Excellent. Well, we're ready. We're ready, we're ready. Let's see. Hmm. We finished Monday. Time really flies. We're about to pass to a new, a new level. I'll show it. Tell me, present as I call you. Let's see. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Let's see. Ready, ready, Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Alicia. Ana. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. Diego. Diego, Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Uh -huh. No here. Grace Michelle. Grace, Grace, Ivo Marcela, Ivo, Jennifer Elizabeth, Jennifer, uh -huh. Jessica Lisset. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. Lisette Ayanara. Lisette. Nubia. Rebeca, Rosailda, Presidente, Victor, 
Victor Victor, no. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. A ver, if somebody connected after I call you. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. Edwin. Elda Cristina. Present teacher, Edwin. Ok. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer. Michelle. Ivonne Marcela. Jennifer. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Lice Dayanara. Rebeca Victor Karen Estefi Adriana Marcela Bueno How are you today? How are you? Fine, teacher. Fine, fine. Great. I'm going to share. Nice. Okay, you're fine. Okay, September. September. We are. In the middle of the year for a lot, right? Well, this is our session number 24. And today we're going to talk about fire escape plan. And we're going to have an article and discuss a little bit related to that article that you are going to read. Yes. Now, we have some questions here. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? You inform about what to do in the case of fire. What should you do? Where should you go out? What are the, the what is the exit that you have to use in case there is a fire? or in case there is an Okay. A ver, well, here. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go discuss with your partners. We're 12 now, great, great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make a three groups. So you will be like four people in each group. There we go. Try to join a group. Join, join. Present teacher. Hi, Elmer. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hi. I'm doing great, teacher. I am in class at the university. Oh, okay. What time do you finish? Nine. At nine? At nine. But only today, right? Uh, every Friday. Oh. Okay. Well, try to join the group. I send you to room number two. Check if you can join. Espérame, 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 ya te digo. ¿La turbina? Sí, sería la turbina, como en el elemento tres. Rico, pero ni Hi, teacher. 
How are you? <laughs> How are you? Ready? Uh, ready. Okay. And what's the first question? Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Well, in my workplace, there is an emergency plan. Uh, in fact, it's uh, in the in the wall. There is a um, what's the mean? Oh, what can I say? Rotulo. <laughs> Signs. Hmm? Signs. Uh, there is an, uh, science in, with the old measures and, and all the all this, the uh, see all the measures that I that we can uh, make in in case of uh, of fire on a on a earthquake and the others is on a the emergency exit and um, punto de encuentro. Ese sí no sé cómo se dice. The meeting point. The meeting point. Mm -hmm. There is an, uh, mm -hmm. a meeting point in 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 the center of the. It is like. A, there is not a, a garden, but it's some similar. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the meaning point. It's part of the of the emergency plan. So it's not a garden, that would be como like a yard. Uh -huh. okay. Like a yard. In your case, Nubia? In the company, same too, uh, are the signs, the um, employees, um, they know that how to, how, how to, ay, como se dice? <laughs> uh, que hacer? In case that an emer emergency 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 mm -hmm. yes only in the people when stay in the uh, K 12 we are we are a uh, capacity for for to use the Fire, fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers. Okay. Um, you have well, you have um, a lot of um plans. In my case, we don't have. We have uh, some sign signatures. Creo que se decía señalizaciones. No, I don't remember. Sí. Signals. Signals. The signals. And uh, but we are not um capacity capacitados. We are not training ever eh, that is mm -hmm. training. training. Okay, we don't have a training about um how to use for example fire extinguishers. We don't have, but we have a fire extinguishers. So that's a, um, a little bit complicated because if we have some problem about uh, with fire, we don't know how to use the fire extinguishers. But do we have? So I mean, it's a little bit um, complicated to um, to workers um in 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 that situation of course we don't we don't know how to do in that mm -hmm. moment 
and um, it can be a risk for all of um for all of us and um, we don't have a um, point of meeting to in in, in a little see in pocas palabras we don't have anything to 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 como de combatir something um something big about nature or something like like hair web in something like that wow so that is something that you have to work with right yes teacher for example but we for example i work in um in, in a taller in um in a workshop workshop yes and we all the time we are man manipulating um, some um, cosas nocivas uh, like aceite, um, uh, aceite hidráulico, and that's a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Well, there are so many risks about it, and um, we don't have a plan. But now we are working in that for the seguridad ocupacional. I don't know how do you say that. Safety, safety, uh -huh. mm -hmm. safety. Uh -huh. We are working in that um, in in this month, and we hope that the next year we we gonna have a plan. But now we don't have. So, but next year is is close, right? <laughs> next year is is very close now we are yes teacher but five six months yes but uh, we we have a, a hope in that yeah, definitely definitely because it's, it's very important it's very important because yes. there are so many risks in in this area and uh, we need to have a plan yes yes because you have to be safe i was teacher i was talking about them in my in my office there are a plan and there are a a, a plan with drawings for the all office in in where is a fire extinguish fire extinguisher fire extinguishers and yeah because everybody has to know right where yes. things are uh, emerging exit and uh, we are training about the use the fire extinguisher and in case of uh, fire or, or earthquakes uh, we know what is the meeting point in 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 the office yes it's it's okay yeah so where are the exits in case of earthquake in case of a fire and that of using the fire extinguisher also is very very important definitely remember yesterday david was illustrating us about the different types of extinguishers right that exist and what are the purposes for each of them mm -hmm. so that's really important to prevent a, any accident definitely yes it's important very important in my company, very important. In the office, there are uh, uh, occupational safety engineers, and then is uh, every we are in every, charge of that. Every day is uh, is uh, checking. Mm -hmm. checking all. They are in charge of checking that all the safety measures are are being followed. That's yes very very important okay bueno let's go let's go
23 minutes, no minutes, seconds. <laughs> and everybody will be back. Okay. Everybody here, nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's see. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, in my case, teacher. In your workplace, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, have you been informed about what to do in the case of fire of a, or an earthquake? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it is uh, to follow the instruction and look for the nearest emergency exit. Definitely, it is extremely necessary, right? That you know where where you have to move to go out, definitely. Okay, what about the others? Is there an emergency plan at your workplace, Rosie? Repeat, please, teacher. Is there an emergency plan at your workplace? No, teacher, in my workplace, uh, there are working units, not yet definite. No emergency plan? No. Okay. But do you know where is the, or what to do in case of a fire or in case of an earthquake? Yes, teacher. Um, <sighs> Sorry, teacher. I much ruido acá ahorita. <laughs> uh, we have any idea? Only one. Okay. What about you, Nubia? Do you know what to do in case of a fire or an earthquake? Yes, in the company, uh, I, I consider it. It's, I is the um, plan there. There is an emergency, emergency plan. Mm -hmm, there is an emergency plan. Uh, mm -hmm. and you know exactly what to do and where you have to move the exit yeah do you know where is the meeting point in your company everywhere there there is a well there should be a special exit in case of an earthquake, right? Or in case of a fire, that there are some things that will be different if it's an earthquake and if there is a, fan, a fire. Because if there is an earthquake, we're always uh, told don't run, keep calm, stay where you are, wait for it to finish, and then you go out. But if it is a fire, you have to go out as soon as possible, right? You cannot stay there because your life can be in serious risk if you do not move. Now, today we are going to read, we're going to read about a fire escape plan. So what are we supposed to do? Where should we move? What are, what are the things that we have to do? 
we're going to do to read it together first and then i'm going to send you to the rooms for you to read and look for vocabulary and organize your ideas while learning about this fire escape plan okay <clears throat> So I'm going to read it for you first, for you to check pronunciation. If you have any questions, tell me, right? Okay, practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out like a window onto an adjustment roof. Also practice feeling uh, your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Uh, imagine if there are some buildings where when there is no light, it is totally dark, right? In other cases, you can get some light from outside, but there are places where there is no light at all. So even, even when there is no light, you have to know how to go out. So you can practice feeling the way by touching, right? Touching, touching, touching. And as you go out with your eyes covered or with your eyes closed. So that will be the first one. Practice escaping, escaping from every room in the building. And the next one, Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route, but if you must escape through smoke, remember to crawl low. What is crawl? Multitude, I guess. No, that is crowd, pero crawl is a eh, gatear. Crowl. Uh, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can disorient you or at worst overcome you. Never open doors that are hard to touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to fill the top of the, of the door. The door knob and the crack, remember the door and the door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. So when you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand like this to touch, right? And to fill the top of the door. The door knob, what is the door knob? What you use to open the door, that's the door knob and the crack between the door and the door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. It feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a specific tree or at the end of the driveway or front sidewalk to make sure everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is already safe. That is, designate a meeting place outside and check, right, if everybody is safe. Once out, stay out. Remember, first, then notify the fire, the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform rescues safely. Okay, so that is the fire escape plan. I'm going to send you to the rooms right now for you to go uh, read about the plan together, check vocabulary, and get ready to share with the others, right? I guess we were missing 
Sorry. <laughs> Oops, sorry, sorry. We were missing one. Finally, having working smoke alarms installed uh, on every level of the building dramatically increases your chances of survival. Smoke alarm batteries need to be tested every month and changed with new ones at least once a year. So if you have a smoke alarms, they will start making noise and that will alert you to go and move, right? Well, I'm going to send you now to the rooms for you to go share with your partners, read the information and be ready to share with the rest. I'm going to, I'm not going to assign you only one piece. I'm going to assign you all the reading today that um, later on, I'm going to change you. So you go with a different group to share what you have learned. Okay. Vamos a ver. Um, hmm. I'm going to make the groups one more time. Now you are 15. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Check, check. I have sent five to each group. I know some are listeners, so that's why I send you like five. Try to join Victor, Victor, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ahí está, perfecto. Good evening, teacher. Hello. So sorry, can you tell me what was the page? It, uh, let me see. It's page 40. 40. Okay. Yeah. Page 40. I'm looking for the 40 page. Page 40. Page 40. I told my co-worker what you said yesterday, teacher. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Nobody is here, Anna. I think, teacher, I'm... When I came at the at the room, I was looking for the manual, but maybe it's anybody. Karen, hey, Jennifer, Jennifer, hello, Jen. I'm here. Okay, Victor. Hello. Victor, you're driving, Victor. Are you still driving? Not, not, I am at home. Oh, perfect. In, at home. At home, you're at home now, nice. Okay. Maybe we can read one paragraph. I am going to start. Great. Okay. Practice escaping from every room in the building. Practice escape plans every month. The best plans have two ways to get out of each room. If the primary way is blocked by fire or smoke, you will need a second way out, like a window onto an adjacent roof. 
Adjacent. Adjacent. Move. Also, practice feeling your way out of the building in the dark or with your eyes closed. Immediately leave the place. When a fire occurs, uh, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route, route. But if you must escape through a smoke, remember to crawl low under the smoke and keep your mouth covered. The smoke contains toxic gases which can de disorient you or at worst overcome you. Never open doors that are hot to the touch. When you come to a closed door, use the back of your hand to feel the top of, of the door. The door knob and the crack between the door and door frame to make sure that fire is not on the other side. It feels, if it feels hot, use your secondary escape route. Jenny, you go. Anybody wants to read? Practice. Sigo, sigo. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, okay. This the a meeting, uh, a meeting place outside, and take attendance. Uh, this uh, designate a meeting location away from the building. For example, meet under a, a specific tree, or at the end of the driveway, or front sidewalk to make sure. Everyone has gotten out safely and no one will be hurt looking for someone who is really safe. Once out, stay out. Remember to escape first, then notify the fire department. Never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters. They are equipped to perform rescues safely. Mm -hmm. Finally, having work and smoke alarm installed on every level of the building dramatically, dramatic, dramatically mm -hmm. increases your chances of survival. Smoke alarms batteries need to be tested every month and change with the new ones at least once a year. So do you have any word that you don't understand, Jennifer? For example, to me, I was looking for the, for the word adjacent. It's like in Spanish as the same adjacente. Pero no sé qué es un techo adyacente. That is close. Techo adyacente. Vamos a ver. No. Entonces, at war es en el peor de los casos. At war. Superarlo. At worst, que lo supera. Que lo supera. Porque si se sobrecome you. Pero at worst es en el peor de los casos. Ajá, uh -huh, exacto. Se supera. ¿Qué significa overcome? Overcome. 
¿A dónde, teacher? Ahí. A ah, ese. Ese es el que yo le decía que te supera. Ajá, chequen. What is the meaning of overcome? Superarlo. Uh -huh. That is stronger than you, right? Abrumar, abrumar. Uh -huh. ah. There's topics, classes which can disorient you or at worst overcome you. So check what is the best definition for overcome you. Check one of the definition is to prevent someone from being able to act or think in the usual way. And that overcomes you, that will not let you think well or act well, right? You will be defeated. <clears throat> Smoke alarm batteries need to, to be tested every month and change with new ones at least once a year. Okay. 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 Dramatically. Wow. Aumenta. Como dramáticamente, ¿verdad? Aumenta dramáticamente. De verdad, sí. Es de Ok. Ok. Questions? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think the, 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 the question, the vocabulary uh, clear. Is, is clear. Uh -huh. Okay, now think about how would you explain that and who will explain what? Okay. Okay, practice escaping from every room in the building. Mm -hmm. I think that is the way that you know or you memorize your nearest exit for an emergency. And if you practice, when you when you are in the in an, in the emergency you can remember your routine and you can you can stop and think where uh, what is the next step so you it will it will more easy to find the exit 
if you practice the escaping room and if you and you have to consider that if one of the exit are is blocked you you need to know where is the second option of emergency exit mm -hmm. okay Okay, and they immediately leave the place is, oh, well, the first part is the most important. Uh, when a fire occurs, do not waste any time. Is 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 the most important part because uh, every second, every moment is critical. So the first, we need to looking for the for the exit, and the recommendation is, uh, if if we are um, in a fire for the escape, we need. Uh, Remember to escape first, then, then notify the fire department, never go back into a burning building for any reason. If someone is missing, tell the firefighters they are equipped to, equipped. Equipped to perform rescue safely. Rescues. Rescues. Finally, have working smoke alarm is installed on every level of the building dramatically increases your chance of survival. The chances mm -hmm. of sur survival. 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 Yeah, survival. A smoke alarm, but it is need to be tested every month and changed with change. the new <laughs> change. Mm -hmm. change with new ones at least once a year. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are you going to explain this fire plan to the others? Who's going to explain what part? Who explained? Uh -huh. You will share what you understand, right? About the, fi uh, the fire plan to the rest of the group. <clears throat> How will you explain that? Okay. Um. <clears throat> In the number one, mm -hmm. the people, uh, the people practice escaping from the every room in the building. Uh, the people. How will you practice, Nubia? How will you practice escaping from the room? Uh, for example. Um, The people have two ways for the outside the <coughs> building. Mm -hmm. And the primary, it's stay uh, blocked. The people use the second plan. For example, uh, that in the area, the people don't walk uh, for the outer building. 
mm -hmm. uh, the people whose car, how do you say, teacher? Look for, they will look for. Uh, uh, it's, they, they will look for. Mm -hmm. They will look for another, another, another uh, area for the people go out. Usually a window, right? Windows, uh-huh, windows. And when you see this, uh, when it says an adjacent roof, el roof es el, es el techo por el lado de afuera. Uh -huh. So sometimes people go out to, uh, through the window, but they go to a roof of another house. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. And then uh, to, we, we can... Mm, in, 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 in many buildings, mm -hmm. make a drill in simulacro. Exactly. exactly. Make a drill. That's a drill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the second, immediately the people leave uh, of the building. Don't stay but, long, right? Yes, but uh, in the case that is a fire, the people grow low mm -hmm. rapidly the, it, of the building. But in the case of uh, earwake, ear, I think it's called earwake. An earthquake, an earthquake. Mm -hmm. the people walk <coughs> or, or se resguarda la cabeza. Or, or, uh, exactly, they have to go down of the table. Down, down. Yeah, one difference between a, a, a fire and an earthquake. One would that, be like in case of an earthquake, you, stay, you may stay in the building and wait for it to finish, right? But in case of a fire, Mm -mm. You have to escape Go out rapidly. Exactly. You have to escape quickly. Perfect. Mm -hmm. In the case three, the but you must know where are you where are you gonna escape. So this is the second important thing. You know wow. to you have to know the the, the place. The, uh, mm -hmm. the way ways or meeting points and mm -hmm. uh, but the most important is to check or take attendance to assure that every uh, workmate or employee are safe it's outside yes are safe and outside yes because i think there are um people in in a job that um, for ellos como que se quedan en shock, they get a shock, I don't yes. know. Yes. And maybe they don't move or they don't do anything to try to get out. And also um, if nobody notice. See, o sea, si nadie or, mira. Nobody, nobody notice that they were in shock. Or, yes. Some people, and many, some people and many companies think most value asset is the, the human life. All is all other assets are material and you can do it again, but not the life. So it's a priority uh, to yeah. save work or backward the, the life. But I think that that's why it is very important have emergency plans but because yes. because no, uh, you don't have to you cannot say just because i want it i am going back and check it's supposed that the people know what they have to do in their own place i don't know how to say you have a a role a role in the emergency situation some of the people do an exactly thing 
and others have to do another because if you if you maybe it suppose uh, and if I say I am going back and another say the same and another say this and another say, say the same thing you are made you are putting in dangerous by your own responsibility so that is in, that's why yeah. it's important every person have a no sé su lugar like a train uh -huh. uh -huh, but that is when you have a, uh, an emergency group so, so people that are in charge of telling the others what to do in case of an emergency, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because that way, not everybody is deciding what to do, but there is somebody who will tell them exactly what to do in each situation. The majority of people in a, in a job, um, they get in shock and they, they, they don't know how to do in that in that situation so, mm -hmm. and and that's wow. that's why we we know um we have to know what to do in in the situation and we are need, we need to to be capacitado training train we need to be trained mm -hmm. definitely yeah mm -hmm. yes yes <laughs> Hi, hi. Hi, we finished, teacher. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah, teacher. Go. Okay, vamos a ver. Checking, checking. I need a volunteer to tell me about this. Uh, this part of the plan. The first one is practice keeping from every room in the building. Volunteer? Oh, well, 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 well. Before before we go to that, let's say, let's check the attendance, right? <laughs> Before I forget. Okay, Adriana, Sofia. Present teacher. Everybody back. Vamos a ver si todos vinieron. Yeah. We are all here. Match Adriana, Sofia, present. Eh, Ana. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisen, no? Ana is blue. David? Presente, John. Diego? Edwin Mauricio. Hilda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer. Elmer Elmer. Grace Michelle. Present teacher, solo que estoy leyendo porque todavía no llego a mi casa. Ok. Be careful. Ivonne Marcela. Ivonne Ivonne. No, here Ivonne. No. Eh, Jennifer. Present. Jessica Lisette. 
José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Vicenta Yanara. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca Marcela. No here, Rebecca, today. Rebecca. No. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. And Jose Alfredo. Jose it's been present, teacher. Jose Alfredo ya llegó. <laughs> no yet. Teacher. Yes. Ah, va. Edwin present, teacher. Edwin present. Okay, Edwin. Fabricio present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Vamos a ver si yo dije qué se hicieron estos niños. Teacher, acabo de entrar. Ay, ¿qué le pasó? Acabo de venir. Perdón que me agarró la tarde. Ay, no, vaya, pero qué bueno que ya llegó. Va, y justo a tiempo, porque acabo de terminar la tienda. Va, y le pongo ya. Ok, alguien más se me ha quedado, ¿no, verdad? Ya estamos complete. Ok, vaya, vamos a ver. <clears throat> Who wants to talk about this plan? Practice escaping from every room in the building. Volunteer. What you were discussing in your groups. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm. A ver. No volunteer victim. Jose Alberto. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thank Bye, you. Jose Alberto. But you will have the right to choose the next one. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I agree. Que conse. Uh, <laughs> well, when when we talk about practice escaping from every room in the bar, in the building, uh, we can say uh, uh, we need to practice. Uh, the escape plan. Uh, in, in this case, says every month, but the 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 idea is uh, all the all the employees, all people can be a note on the about what is the plan. To, so we practice. Or every month, and all the people can exactly know exactly what we need to make in this case. So the best plans, the best plans, have two ways to get out. Uh, for the building or each room, uh, the primary uh, the if the primary way is blocked, there is a fire or is closed, and we need to uh, have a, the second uh, the second way the second way because uh, uh, we can use uh, every everyone. Mm -hmm. And that be can be a window uh, or a door or or for the stairway. The stairs. Yeah. Uh -huh. The emergency mm -hmm. level. And uh, yes. And uh, um, if we practice, we feeling. 
uh, what exactly can be or oh, we need to to make in this case so you need to know how where to go out even mm -hmm. when there is no light right? yeah yeah uh -huh. Even when it is dark, you have to know exactly the way because yes. you don't know if the problem will be at night, the electricity, you will run out of electricity, you won't be able to see the place. That's especially for the people who work at night, right? Mm -hmm. During the day, probably if there is electricity or no. But some buildings are very dark when there is no electricity. So you have to know exactly what is the way that you're going to go. Yeah. So it's a good idea to practice going out with your eyes closed, but with somebody telling you, yes, you're going in the right way. No, no, no. Be careful. The stairs are there. Or no, you're going to crash into something, right? Because if no, you will have an accident before the fire in the drill. So that's something to be careful with. Okay, somebody else wants to add something here? Who wants to add something to this? Mm -hmm. Nobody? In our workplace, we, we, we didn't practice every month. But we practice uh, using in in an expected moment an alarm for, uh -huh. for the whole school and the all the students and people know what when they when they listen that alarm maybe in fifteen days or every fifteen days or every month or every two months. Not mm -hmm. exactly once a month. Not every month. Uh -huh. Yeah, it suddenly uh, they know uh, the safety routes and what they have to do. We always practice about the earthquake, not about uh -huh. fire. About a fire, right? We never practice about a fire. Mm -hmm. But we practice the, the, the routes that we are going to use to to be safe, the la salida, the way out. The only difference is that when there is a when there is a fire, you have to run, right? When there is an earthquake, you have to keep calm and stay or walk slowly, right? So that will be a, a difference between escaping in case of a fire or escaping in case of a an earthquake. And also the, the way, right? That here you should have to wave. And one of them can be the window. So you can break the window and go out through the window if necessary, right? That is if necessary. Okay. Well, let's see, Alberto, as I promised, you can choose the next one. We will talk uh, about immediately leave the place. Who? Me? Yeah, choose. Okay. Choose who will. Who? Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm for being very suspicious. <laughs> and maybe I can. Nubia wants to participate. Yeah. Okay, Nubia. <laughs> okay, uh, immediately leave the place. Immediately, mm -hmm. yes. It's uh, when it's come a fire, the people uh, go quickly of the building. Um, the people Crawl, crawling low uh, for the uh, smoke will not cause damage 
due to the toxic gases mm -hmm. exactly. that they emit. Mm -hmm. Yes, the people uh, leave the, the place immediately. Okay, check. What is crawl? Gatiar. Mm -hmm. Gatiar. If you are in an earthquake, you walk, right? If you are in a fire, you crawl. And do <clears throat> you cover your mouth and your nose with something, right? Cover to protect from the smoke because it says that the smoke can disorient you or can overcome you. So that's why it is very important. Which is the safest, sure. which is the safest exit? Tell me. In the case, I see that people, um, yo no sé cómo se dice, pero humedecen trapos. Ah, yes. Y se los ponen para que el humo no traslade de, de, de un lado a otro y uno no lo transpire. Exactly, exactly. Because if you receive that smoke, oh, that can be a fatal, right? So that's why you have to be very careful. Mm -hmm. Okay, which do you think would be the safe the safest exit in the place where you work? Walking against to the smoke. Okay. Do, well, you, have, do well, you have two entrances? Yes, it look for the entrances, but if the if the smoke were in that way, we have to live in another way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. But the, if there is, in case you have two ways, right? But if you have only one, what Go would you pass through the smoke and leave the place. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Abandon the place, right? Quickly. Okay, thank you. Now, Nubia, you choose the next one. Ah, okay. Who will be the next one? David. David. Thank you, Nubia. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and never open doors that are hot to the touch. And when you come to the, the real teacher or do you explain? Explain. Okay. And I think, I understand. And when and I on you, or we I start in the room and uh, is the use the back of the of the hand to feel the top of the door or the drum knob, but uh, feel is uh, is the hot on the on the cool. See, is is feel hot is don't open because it has, it's is flame or fire in the next door. Yeah. Then then is the the feel is cool or normal is you open door is exit the quickly. Mm -hmm. But do not be careful, right? Yes. What is the frame of the door? What is the frame of the door? El marco de la puerta? Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So you have to first touch if it is not hot, right? And if you can go out. If it is hot, don't open the door. Don't try to go that way, yeah? So try to go in a different direction, 
Okay, thank you. Somebody else wants to add something here? Volunteer, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Volunteer. No more. To say the truth, I never thought about this recommendation because we always talk about earthquake, but a, fi a fire, fire never, right? Never. Also, the recommendations are very, very important. And remember yesterday we were saying about uh, the importance of knowing how to use the, the extinguisher because we see the extinguisher but we always say that that is for somebody else to use it. But we will never think about we learning how to use it in case of an emergency. Because the fire starts small sometimes, not always, right? But sometimes that's very, something very simple. And it can be put off easily. But if we leave it a lot, for a long time, it can become bigger. So if we know how to use the extinguisher, that can be a very good, a, of a lot of importance, of course. Okay, now let's see the next one. David, who will see, who will share the next one? Designate a meeting place outside and take attendance. Who will share it, David? And would you like the, the choose the victim? Okay. Yes. Vamos a ver. Victor, no sé si está. Victor, Victor, Victor. Hello. Hello, Victor. Okay. Um, I think that it's very important to designate a meeting point, a meeting place for the or employee, mm -hmm. and and give to know that or to all employee. But most important is to train, to make exercise with the warmate or department of the, comp or the company to be, to be uh, su sure how to, how to do or what to do in case of emergency. So um, I think that, um, the must be a leader of area of the company, a charging of the process to 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 lead the team in case of emergency. Yes. So, <laughs> um, because there are companies from one thousand employees. To else, and there are companies that has uh, almost or at less fifty employees. That when a company has a lot of employee is so difficult because it must must have the um, I don't know how to say brigadas primeros auxilios. A first aid. A first aid group? Yes, first aid groups. Mm -hmm. And there is employee that must be trained to that. And there should be somebody designated for each uh, department, right? Yes. That way yes. you know everybody is out. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. It's like when we are at school, Anna, that each teacher is responsible for his or her group of students, even when there are thousands of students in the school, right? 
So that person is in charge to check that all the children in his or her room are safe. And that's why you see uh, many, many schools that are very well organized with uh, vests and with flags. So they, there is a leader in the room, not just the teacher. I had the experience of, of, uh, of looking at that in a school in the United States. The teacher, well, the group was not that big, right? It was, a, it was a public school. It was not that big. They were about 14 people in that moment in the classroom. But when they heard the alarm, the boys ran to get their jackets. They put on their jackets and they took the flag. And the one that was at the front was with the flag, but there was another in the middle and another at the back, watching that all the children were going out from the classroom and directly to the patio of the school. And they had a designated meeting location. So, and they were like checking the time, right? And saying, ha, ah, fulanito and this, this room is not ready and, and they were paying attention to, to the, the speed the children were going out, how they were uh, managing with the situation that they were taking it seriously and they knew the place where they had to go and stand up in a, in a, on, a, on a line so they had to be very organized. And I re that really called my attention because sometimes here we just go out, just everybody running on its own and we go everywhere, right? We don't have a, a, a designated location to go. So we just go out and the idea is to be out, but we don't worry about where we're going out. And that's something very important. Another thing that I took from that experience, a part of the location is the organization in each, uh, in that case, in each room, because it was a classroom, right? In each room, not just the teacher directly in the children on where to go, but the children getting the, uh, the organization, right? And they were the ones in charge of directing the other children to, to the area where they had to go, right? So the flag, the vests, the location, all those things are very, very important. Have you seen here a place that is very well organized when they make a drill? Of course, as Anna said, we make here a earthquake drills no fire drills, right? But have you seen a, an institution or maybe your company is as organized as that, that they know exactly where to go, what to do, who's going to do what, in what situation, who's going to support and everything? Do you have that in your company? Yes, no. Hey, teacher. Yes? My workplace. Even what about the fire, uh, we have co-workers that are in charge about the extintores. Okay, so we are, not, uh -huh, we are not going to take them because they are, because are some people in charge about it, in charge. Mm -hmm. So you have to know exactly right? Where to go? Extinctors are in the holes. So, uh, we have a lot of holes and maybe in each holes, no, in every. We have an extinguisher. We have an extinguisher. Uh -huh. extinguisher. But do you know how to use it? Or someone? <laughs> no, 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 so sorry. Somebody near knows how to use it? It's supposed, yeah, because we have a maintained person near from the area. So it's supposed that they know they okay. are the people in charge. Hopefully, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. 
Now let's go to the next one. Victor, choose the next one. Who goes? I'm going to choose the next one. Jose Alberto. Ah, Isa. Okay, Jose Alberto. Jose Alberto was the first one, right? Yes. Uh huh. So choose another one. Another one, I don't remember what. Uh, um, let me think, let me think. <laughs> what else, what else? Diego Batres is available. I don't think so. Say, go Diego, go. <laughs> si no uh, Rebeca Marcela Rebeca is Rebeca here Rebeca Marcela mm, I think she's no, not isn't, isn't. no right she's not y bon Marcela sí. y bon. <laughs> Yvonne, Yvonne, hello. I guess she was. What happened? She was here. Oh, yeah, there she is. Yvonne, hello, hello, hello. Yvonne, hello. No, dice que no está. Ok. Adriana Sofía. Adriana Sofía. Ok. Sofía, Sofía, Sofía. Go and shout. Stay out. Yes. Ok. Once it, out, stay out. It is related about that you, if you call out of a burning building and you are safe you you have to stay out and don't go back to burning building for any reason even if someone is missing if you know the that there is someone that is missing you have to tell you have to tell it to firefighters or call to 911. But uh, for any reason, you have to return or go back to, uh, to a dangerous situation that you, that you are out mm -hmm. from them, from it, from it. <laughs> That's basically. Okay. Um... Do you know the number of the fire fire department? No. No. I don't know it. Who knows the number of the fire fire department? To say the truth, no. <laughs> Anybody? Anybody knows? No, teacher. No. David? Manda, teacher. Do you know the number of the fire fire department? Um, is the red... Um, the 913? 913. Yes. Okay. It's the emergency number. Okay, okay. ¿Cómo se dice carpeta, teacher? File, ¿verdad? A file. The file red in, in my case, uh, in, the, in the red file is the all protocol or the, the prevention mm -hmm. and the security. <coughs> so you have the, the number. In case of an emergency, 
No, uh, the, the number of the emergency is uh, the 911. Mm -hmm. And the uh, one, two, three. Uh, asterisk, how do you say this? Asterisk. Asterisk. One, two, three. Uh huh. Yeah, because we know the 9 11, verdad? Or ya no es ese. Emer emergency of the police? Yes, yes. Uh, 9 11 because uh, general don't, don't come, don't, don't respond. Oh, they don't respond. No. Oh, and what about the 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 one of the fire fire? Have you ever called? Have you ever called the fire fires? Never, teacher. Never. No. Never, never had the necessity of calling. <laughs> no. Only called the nine one one. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can uh, we can call to the nine one one and they and they call uh, the the, call the fire. Uh -huh. yes. yes, but okay. the nine one three is the number for emergency directory. Directly to the fire fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So you see, if there is somebody missing. And that person doesn't answer the phone. You cannot contact the person. Nobody has seen her or him. Then you tell the firefighters, right? And they are the ones who have to find them. Okay. No, you. I remember for the earthquake, uh, the first earthquake in the 2001, as Anna was saying, some people get choked and they they in and they don't move because they get on chalk. I remember that when the earthquake happened, I was in a classroom and I couldn't go out because the door was closed and then it trapped and I couldn't open. And well, I had to wait until it, the earthquake finished. When it finished, I opened the door, but I felt it so long. That earthquake was about 48 seconds. It was very, very long for an earthquake. Then I remember that when finally it finished, I went to open the door and I took the children out. But imagine while all those 48 seconds happened, I went to the door, I noticed I couldn't open the door, I went back in the in the school where I work in the in, in the morning. There are some podiums. I put my hand on the podium and it was it was a very strange shape, like going moving from one side and from up and down, right? I remember the podium overfalls on me. Then I was like, okay. And I sat down and I started talking to the children. I said, keep your colors, keep your pencils, keep everything. Because I was with children of about 10, 11 years old. And then uh, they started keeping everything. By that time, the earthquake finished. I went to the door, I opened and I said, okay, now let's go in order. And all the children went out that it was an earthquake. But imagine in case of a fire, I don't know what I would have done with the children inside in the middle of a fire if I cannot open the door. And if there is no way to go out. So that is still a more delicate, right? If you have the number of the firefighter, immediately you can call them, right? But if we do not know it, that's very, very difficult. Okay, uh, let's see the last one. Finally, uh, let's see Adriana Sofia, choose the last one. Okay. One victim. 
iPad. Yes. <laughs> Karen y Stephanie. Vaya, Karencita. Okay, okay. <laughs> try, try to say, Do you have alarms, smoke alarms where you work? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where you work, are there smoke alarms? Yes, teacher. Uh, we have to. Because imagine it, sometimes there are no alarms where we work, right? So if we have an alarm installed and a smoke alarm installed in a, on every level of the company, we will listen to the, to the alarm and we will notice something is going wrong. But if we do not know or if the alarms, if we don't have one, or if the alarm has run out of batteries, right? Or if the batteries are discharged, so something may go wrong and we won't notice, right? We won't notice until the fire is getting very, very close to us. So that... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, teacher. El Ministerio de Trabajo tiene un departamento en donde anda revisando los edificios y exige, uh -huh. bueno, exige ver las medidas de seguridad salida y donde yo trabajo no había alarma, pero hace poco las instalaron por bloque, porque está bloqueado, bloqueado, y por bloque también. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. The thing is that we never know, right? Of course, we never want that to happen, but we have to be prepared for everything because we never know what may happen and we should uh, have all the, the, the chances to survive, right, or to escape. Okay. Well, let's move then to the next exercise. Check here. We have some uh, recommendations, right? And pay attention to the structure used here. We have when, when, before, right? When five occurs, get all things of value, leave the place, try to put out the fire, which is the best option. What you have to do is underline the best recommendation in each group about what to do in the event of a fire. In some cases, well, it says that two of them are not right. One is correct, two are not right. Yeah, when you come to a closed door, grab the handle and open it, look for another door or carefully feel the doorknob and the cracks of the door for hotness. Number three, Designate a meeting place as near the building as possible, away from the building or at home. Before trying to escape, escape first without hesitation, notify the fire department first, call your family and tell them not to worry. Uh, fire alarms, test them every year, install them on the top of the ground levels, I change them every five years. Okay, I'm going to send you to the rooms right now, but in groups, in smaller groups, for you to discuss a little and choose the best option and discuss with your partners 
about each of the of these rules, right? I'm assuming. Okay, we are more. Yeah. There we go. Try to join. Try to join a room. I'm meeting. I'm missing. Well, I'm making more more groups now. There, very good. Victor, Carla, try to join. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, Jose Alfredo, Jennifer, can you see your group? Victor. Jose Alfredo, hello. First, get all the scenes of value. Leave the place and try to put our the fire. And this guy I think is this. Leave the place when the fire occurs. Leave the place. Yes. But I said to do that, Lucia. Okay. When you come to a closed door, grab the handle and open it. Look for another door. Carefully fill the door in knob and the cracks of the door for hotness. The third one. Carefully fill the door in knob and the cracks of the door for hotness. This one. Mm -hmm. The last option, yes. <clears throat> okay, number three. The signet and meeting place. As near the building as possible, away from the building, at home. <laughs> at home. <laughs> away from the building. <laughs> Stay at home. So, <laughs> sería away. Ay, perdón. ¿Dónde estamos? Away from the building, ¿verdad? Yep, away from the building. The building. <sighs> okay. Before trying to escape, escape first without hesis, hesitation. Notify the fire department first. Call your family and tell them no, not to worry. Es algo que un salvadoreño haría, vea. Ay, no. Notify the fire department first. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I person. see escape fear without high station. Yes, hesitation. 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 Es la otra away. Away from the building. Uh huh. Away from mm -hmm. the building. Okay. Y the number five. Before trying to escape. Escape first without hesitation. Notify the fire department first. Call your family and tell them not to worry. You creo que notify the fire department first. Yes. What do you think, Elda? I don't know if escape first without hesitation. Or notify the fire department first. Antes de tratar de escapar, notify mm -hmm. the fire department. Department. Mm. Okay. 
you, I think that the first thing that you have to do when you are in emergency, you have to mm -hmm. look for, for, for help. Could be police station, could be fire station. Uh, it depends on the situation. But mm -hmm. the first thing that we have to know that we have to do is look for help. For example, if, if you if you remember the thing that had happened in the United States at school. Dice, las alarmas, alarmas contra incendios. incendios. Yes. Uh, Pruebalas cada año y estás en los niveles superiores, superior e inferior. Cambiarla cada cinco años. Yo pensé que la dos. Ahí es de Radio Pico, por la de Nejapa, pero mejor no voy. ¿Verdad? Qué terrible. Entonces, <risa> nos capturó la teacher. <risa> Let's go to the number one. When fire cars. What do you do? Get all the things of value? Leave the place or try to put out the fire? I think it's leave the place. Leave the place. Leave the place. Uh, Carla? Yes, okay. Sí, leave the place or, or try to put out the fire. Can be two, teacher, or only one? Only one. Only one. Leave the place. But if if you want the, the if you if you have the, the training, you can try to put out the fire. But if you don't have a training, leave the place. Mm-hmm. And over uh, and overall is not if you have the train is or if you have the necessary equipment because you have the train but no don't don't have a protection equipment don't have some tools to to put away the fire it's so difficult but when the fire is begin. Is small. You can try oh, to, to put the up fire. the fire, but the if, fire. The, if the fire is 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 big, it's better uh, yeah, it's, in the place. It's for now. Ah. Yes, it's a fire for for a fireman. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. Hi, teacher. Sorry, pero se me apagó la, la laptop y hasta ahorita pude ingresar otra vez. Oh, uh, me la voy a llevar, fíjese. Ok. Vámonos, Karen. Hi, teacher. Finished. Yes. Okay. Let's go, please. Everybody coming? I guess everybody here, right? Bye. A ver, number one. 
When file course, get all the things of value, leave the place, or try to put out the fire. Which leave the place. Leave the place. Mm -hmm. When you come to a closed door, grab the handle and open it, look for another door, or carefully fill the door knob and the cracks of the door for hotness. Carefully, carefully fill, fill the door. The door. Mm -hmm. Carefully fill the door knob. I get it. <laughs> Ay, no, qué barbaridad. Okay, carefully fill the door knob and the cracks of the door for hotness. Very good. Number three, designate a meeting place as near the building as possible, away from the building or at home. Away from the window. For the building. Imagine, can we designate a meeting place at home? So say, okay, bye-bye, my meeting place is at home. So bye-bye. <laughs> to skate. Okay, let's see the next one, number four. Before trying to skate, escape first without hesitation and notify the fire department first or call your family and tell them not to worry. Notify the fire department. the department first. Okay. And what about if they don't answer? Escape first without okay. hesitation. Uh -huh. According to what we were reading. Uh -huh. When a fire occurs, do not waste any time saving goods. Take the safest exit route. But if you must escape through smoke, so remember to crawl under the smoke and keep the mouth covered. The smoke contains gases. So uh, go run away, right? Escape. So the best option here will be first you escape and then you run, you call the fire department. Um, what about number five? Fire alarms, test them every year, install them on the top and ground levels, change them every five years. Test them every year. Mm -hmm. Exactly, test them every year. Okay, that's something to take into consideration in case of a fire. Any questions here? Questions? No, yes? No question, teacher. Okay. No, teacher, no question. Thank you. Now, let's go. Let's go. And vamos a stop sharing. And we go for the last attendance of the day. What is, what is the last attendance of the day? Ready. Vamos. Um, Adriana Sofia. Present teacher. Nice. Analicia. Present teacher. Ana Grisel, David, present teacher, Diego, 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 Edwin, present teacher, Elda Cristina, present teacher, Elmer Fabricio, present teacher, 
Grace Mitchell. Grace. Ivo Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisset. Jessica. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Karen. Janet. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisset Dayanara. Lisset Dayanara. No, I don't understand. Okay. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca Marcela. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Hi, hi. Pacha. Just one thing. Uh, remember that we finish on Monday, right? And if you're still missing something in the platform, you have the weekend. We already saw everything that will come in the in the exam because what we are going to do on Monday is is review of what you are what you have already studied during the during the course. So you can take advantage, finish during the weekend. If you already finish, I will be very happy. Right? How we're doing here. I'm checking, I'm checking. to see how to tell. Okay. Vamos a ver, Adriana Sofía, missing homework number four, y final exam. Okay. Ana Alicia, homework number four, and final exam. Diego, two, homework number four. Well, you need four and final exam. Elda Cristina, two. Unit four, final exam. Elmer, Fa Elmer Fabricio, unit three, unit four, and final exam are missing. We, oui, el Mirchon también, el Elmer Fabricio. Are you here? Yes, teacher, I am here. Me prometió. I can you. ¿Qué me dijo antier, teacher? Ya se lo voy a hacer. No me puse al día con la unidad 2, pero mañana prometo estar al día con el dicho. Sí. I promise you. Remember <laughs> what I told you. Eh, I promise you. <laughs> yo voy a recoger Llegué. las notas. Voy a recoger las notas el domingo por la tarde. Lunes tengo una cita a las 6 de la mañana del seguro. Y es para un examen. No tengo que ir de pelada mucho. Así es que al solo terminar la clase yo me voy a ir a dormir, ya no voy a recoger notas lunes ni mucho menos martes. Oye, así es que asegúrense de tenerme todo completo hasta más tardar que terminen el domingo en la mañana porque yo domingo en la tarde recojo notas. Vamos a ver, eh, Jennifer Elizabeth, Unit 4. Final exam, Jessica, unit three, four and final exam. 
Ok, miren qué bonito están los demás. Ay, Karen Stephanie, the final exam, right? Yes, teacher. Igual José Alfredo, me debe el final exam la mitad. Don't forget there. Y quiero ver, Carla Lorena, Unit 4 and Final Exam, Rebeca, Unit 4 and Final Exam, Victor, Unit 4, mm, Victor, ¿qué le pasó? Unit 3 is in the middle, Unit 4 and Final Exam. Bye. Ahí están los que no los he mencionado, estos que están... Tan chile, como decimos nosotros en buen salvadoreño. <ríe> Tan chile. Ya, you are updated, you finished, and you can sleep happy today, tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday, right? Bacha. Any questions? No questions? Nothing. Ok, no. José Alfredo no. se queda conmigo hoy. And see you Monday. Ahí aprovechen el fin de para ponerse al día. ¿no? Oh. Ok. Ok. Pero las de la unidad 3 ya no cuentan o sí. Hágalo. Ok. Ok, ok. Si quiere. Cuentan, pues. hágalo. <ríe> si quiere. Thank you. Le ponga la nota de, de la 3. Good no. night. Le va a bajar mucho. Good night. Háganlo, háganlo. Pónganse al día y yo les reviso el domingo en la tarde. Oye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Happy weekend. God bless you. Thank you. You too. Happy weekend. Hi, David. See, David. Good night. Vamos a ver. Ay, José Alfredo. Ay, ay. Are you there? Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello.
Diego, hello. José Alfredo, José Alfredo, hello. 